a quick pros and cons video on the 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. The first pro, <laughs> it's going to be with that engine, of course, that three and a half liter V6 engine producing 278 horsepower, 265 pound feet of torque. It sounds really good and it feels very effortless. I thought it was very quick, both out on the highway and around town. It was effortless, it was smooth. There was no issues from this V6 engine for me. I even like this six speed automatic transmission as well. It's got some crudeness to it. It's very abrupt in the way that it shifts, but it does shift when I wanted to and when I needed to. And that's what's important. That's what I appreciate. Overall, this drivetrain just has a great charismatic quality to it. Very old school. And I really enjoy that. So that's going to be the first pro. It's going to be that engine. A con with this Tacoma, it's obviously going to be with the fuel economy. Get 17 in the city, 20 on the highway. For this TRD Pro, you get like one or two MPG better if you go with some of the other models. But in general, fuel economy, that's not a strong suit. For this Tacoma, there's literally full-size V8-powered pickup trucks that get better fuel economy than this Tacoma. At least you can use 87 octane with these Tacomas. Another pro is just how well these TRD products from Toyota ride. I really like how soft and supple this suspension feels. You know, when I go over really sharp bumps or speed humps, things of that nature, you hardly even feel it. I get more of a jolt when I drive certain SUV products that many journalists would consider to be, you know, comfortable. I get more of a jolt going over those types of bumps in those SUVs than I do in this TRD Pro Tacoma. Or even the TRD off-road packages, you know, those are also excellent from Toyota with the Bilstein shocks. We have here the Fox shocks uh, with the two and a half inch lift. Either way you go, the TRD tuned off-road suspension is excellent for everyday ride quality purposes. And even the handling isn't half bad. You know, it's not as bad as most people make it out to be, okay? Obviously this is not a Porsche GT3, but when you do your everyday driving, you know, taking your left hand, right hand turns, your occupants, they're not being flipped over all over the place. You know, the vehicle remains neutral, balanced. It's not really a big deal. You know, it's not a sports car obviously, but for your everyday handling purposes, it's totally fine. That was one of my biggest complaints with the previous generation. Tundra, that did not handle very well. It felt like the thing was gonna flip over every time you took a subtle right-hand turn, left-hand turn. The Tacoma is not like that. So you get this old school driving experience with much better handling compared to the previous generation Tundra. At least that's what it's been in my experience. Now one subtle con with the handling, it's gonna be with the steering rack. It's a little bit on the looser side, of course. You do need to correct for it a little bit. Not a big deal, but just something to note. For sure but the biggest con with this Tacoma that I have experienced in my one week of testing it is just the overall just ergonomics of getting in and out of it the seating position all of this is just whack and it's not very good uh, getting in and out of this vehicle it's a pain it's not the most dignified thing and getting out of it right my calves they're always rubbing up against the uh, the, the side side steps if you will so my pants are just always getting dirty so i don't really like that aspect of it and once you're in the tacoma you know in the driver's seat okay the the seats they don't go down far enough for me and also the the floor is too high so now my knees they're just sitting up high like this and i'm only five foot eleven so really tall individuals this is going to be really annoying for you there's not even that much headroom, honestly, both in the front and the rear. With your knees bent like this, it's just not the most comfortable thing for a lot of people. And regarding the rear legroom space, it's not that great. This is the full four-door double cab version. And, you know, once again, I just don't have that much space in the rear. So the lack of space, lack of cubby spaces as well, it's a bit annoying. And especially if you're coming from a full-size pickup truck, yeah, this just feels very constricted in those regards. So that's pretty much my biggest complaint I've had with the Tacoma. But overall, I would consider this interior space to be a pro. 
even though it's a predominantly plastic space, everything feels solid and well put together. I really appreciate that. Nothing is creaking and rattling. All the buttons and switches, all of that feels good. Everything feels reliable. There's just no nonsense here. Everything is just going to get the job done. And you also have your physical controls for your HVAC, your own separate display for your HVAC as well with your heated seat controls. Really like that. Infotainment is straightforward, easy to use. You do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but you do have to plug your phone in for that to work. However, you do have a wireless charging pad for you. I would consider these seats to be a pro as well. They are reasonably comfortable, although like the material is very cheap, uh, but I feel like they did that on purpose. So it's easy to clean these TRD Pro seats off. You know, I feel like a lot of people they are going to be taking advantage of the excellent um, off-road capability of these TRD Pro models uh, because it's true these TRD Pros they are legitimate off-road vehicles they can conquer some really difficult terrains so if you're going to be mudding in this and you get these seats dirty then it's not an issue you can just easily wipe it off so that's one of the benefits here but I also like the excellent lumbar support from these seats as well another pro I like these doors they feel really good feel very solid um, but one con with this interior space, it's going to be with that JBL audio system. It's a total waste. Uh, it does not sound good at all. So if you like your music, then this JBL audio system, it's not the best. Uh, it's got a very cheap tone to it. So that's something to note. And I would definitely consider the bed to be a pro. We have a five foot bed here, but if you get a TRD off-road model, for instance, you can actually get a six foot bed. So with this pro, you can only buy this truck the way you see it here as a double cab or full four door with the five foot bed. But if you got other models like the TRD off-road, you can get this double cab as well with the six foot bed. So if you want to use this for work purposes, that can make this vehicle very practical. And I like the SMC material that they're using, that sheet molded composite. It's a great durable material. That means you don't have to use a bed lining material. It just comes protected from the factory like this. Uh, it's the same bed material that the new Tundra is utilizing, and it's also 10% lighter than steel. And another pro, I just like the way this truck looks. This TRD Pro looks amazing, especially in this new Solar Octane color for 2023 in conjunction with these 16-inch lightweight black alloy wheels with the Goodyear Wrangler tires on it. It just looks epic. It looks like a Tonka truck toy. I mean, everyone is looking at it. Everyone loves it. It's a fantastic vehicle to look at for sure. And finally, the last pro, it's going to be with the resale value of the Tacomas. It's excellent. So this truck, it's around $48,000, but these things hold their value extremely well. So if you're financing or paying cash for it, you can be rest assured, at least, you know, based on past performance, these trucks they've always had great resale so that's my quick pros and cons video on the toyota tacoma trd pro let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i will have the full review on the end screen here click it and i will see you there